Right, let's go through the answers to this worksheet, which I set for last lesson, which is about Hubble's law and how the, the redshift of all the galaxies can be measured to come up with the lovely straight line graph uh, seen in this worksheet. Right, so most of this is pretty straightforward. It's all pretty much missing words. I'll share this annotated version with you. Um, but yeah, your task one was just the um the doppler effect when i was spinning the iphone okay obviously when it came towards you it's high pitched when it's moving away it was lower pitched okay and we see that with cars and ambulances and uh, anything with, that makes a noise when it moved towards and moves away from us why we see it in stars as well so as we know um when the these these it's all about these lines which i'm going to talk about now these are called absorption lines so when you look at the the, the light Analyze the light from, from, from a star. There's these lines because of hydrogen, because stars are made of hydrogen. Okay. Now, if this is the hydrogen spectrum that we expect to see, if it's redshifted, okay, if the star or galaxy we're looking at is moving away, then these lines will be shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. Now, here's the, here's the key bit, here's the really important bit. The more they are shifted, the faster the galaxy is moving. Okay, and that's how we measure how fast the galaxy is moving away from us. We measure how much these lines are red shifted. I'll come back to that in a second. But anyway, it asks us here to mark the same five black lines on the spectrum to show them red shifted. I'll draw them in red, because that's easier to see. But we'll have the first line, which is this one here. Okay. Now that was here, but that will be shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. Okay, and then we've got the same lines shifted all towards the red end of the spectrum. And then finally, this one here is going to be shifted as well. Okay, so it's the same, like I said, spectral signature. It's the same combination of lines, but they are all shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. So that's redshift. Now it says, what What about the same hydrogen spectrum? What if the galaxy or star is moving towards us? Now, very few galaxies and stars show this, but if it did, it would be blue shifted. Now I'll draw that in blue. I think that would be nice. Okay. The same lines, we see the same combination of lines, but they will be slightly shifted towards we'll say blue shifted but it's actually shifted towards the violet end of the spectrum okay so there you have it there is red shift blue shift now this this i'm going to show you this again in 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 the, in the powerpoint i'm just going to talk about this again but this this is the really important bit because there you have it there's the same lines for hydrogen now nearby star small amount of rift the red shift nearby galaxy a little bit more distant galaxy a little bit more red shift and the very distant galaxies these are really red shifted because the speed a galaxy is moving away from us depends entirely on how far away it is so this is the fastest and this is the slowest okay and we see that on the graph so this is what edward hubble did he he, he looked at all the galaxies he looked at the, the nearest galaxy he could see he measured how far away it was he measured he used redshift to measure how fast it's moving and he plotted it on his graph the next galaxy a little bit further away was moving away a bit more quickly the next galaxy a little bit further away 
moving away a bit more quickly and so on. And he took all the data of all the galaxies and plotted them like this and noticed it was a directly proportional relationship. Okay, it's a straight line. So the speed, this is Hubble's law. Speed is directly proportional to distance from Earth. Okay, that is Hubble's law. Anyway, this a couple of you had a look at had a go at the uh, the extension question, right? This this is the um, uh, the one where it's it, this was the this was the graph that Hubble plotted. Now, as you can see, the points you've got the straight line through the middle, but the points are all over the place. Now, the reason for that is the accuracy of his measurements. Okay, I mean, I do have Hubble. Yeah, it was 90 years ago, so the technology is not as good as today, but 90 years ago, he was doing the best he could. Um, so there's going to be lots of errors in his measurements, certainly in the distance from us, but also in the speed from us. Now, today, the same thing is done, but we can use much, much better telescopes. We can have many, many more observers making these measurements, and we, we do see more of... A straight line so obviously they were, they were a lot more bunched at the lower end but the further away you get when you're looking at a really distant galaxy it's very hard to measure accurately how far away it is that's the problem here okay now last bit it was it was asking about the gradient okay where was that one there you go how, how do you measure, how do you measure the gradient so the gradients of this graph is called the Hubble constant, and that's really important. If we know the value of the Hubble constant, we know how quickly the universe is expanding. Now, if you remember, how do you measure gradient? Gradient is rise over run, okay? So in this example, it's how much the graph goes up, that's rise, divided by how much it goes across, that's run. So the Hubble constant in this case, H0, the Hubble constant is how much it goes up, 1,000, divided by how much it goes across, 2. So Hubble, 90 years ago, measured his Hubble constant to be 500. Now the unit is important. It's kilometers per second per now this thing here mpc that's a that's mega parsec that's a very very big unit of distance that we use in in cosmology so the unit here is kilometers per second per mega parsec so that's hubble's constant measured by edwin hubble himself 90 years ago and that's how you measure the gradient of this graph. Today, we measure the Hubble constant much more accurately. Okay, I think it comes out round about 70. Okay, we can actually do have a go at this one here. So how much is it going up? So it's going to go up 13,000. And it's going to go across 200. So the gradient today, which is the Hubble constant, is 13,000 divided by 200, which is 65. 65 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So this is the latest, most accurate value for the Hubble constant, which tells us how quickly the universe is expanding. Okay. Any questions, please ask. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.